Now let's turn our attention to the Aussies who are going to tee it up. There are six of them this year at Augusta National vying for the green jacket to be a Masters champion like Adam Scott. Let's begin with the only Australian winner, with Adam Scott. 22 visits to Augusta National. He's made the cut 20 times. He's a good person for the young kids to play with because he knows every blade of grass there now and is comfortable every time he goes back there. You know, he started this year, year out pretty solid. Not great, but there's some really exciting parts of Adam's game. I've been through the... The, the stats this, this year. He's driving the ball not so good, but Augusta's wide off the tee. His iron plays just OK, but he's getting it around there. But he's 22nd in the putting averages on the PGA Tour already this year. Um, you know, everyone's always made a, a statement about his, his putting. It is looking sensational. If he gets the others on song, instead of the other way round, uh, where he's putting, uh, sorry, he's hitting and he's driving has been exceptional. His putting now is exceptional. He's just got to, he's got to bring those in. And I think probably, probably in the off weeks, he's, he's been working on that. It's quite incredible that he's only had one top ten at Augusta National since winning yep. in 2013. You've got long odds about that being the fact coming into uh, this year's event. Jeff Cameron Smith, of course, uh, went pretty close back in 2020, tied second behind Dustin Johnson. A couple of top tens in the majors last year. His form line, though, I guess like all the live players, is hard to gauge because they're no longer playing, obviously, on the PGA Tour. Uh, he's shown some good form, though, in recent times. He has, yeah. As you say, it's hard to sort of get a feel for how these live players are playing because we don't see them against everyone else every week. But Cam Smith is a big, he's a big meat performer, if you like. He he always seems to show up for the big tournaments. He's had two or three really good weeks around Augusta over the years. Been came really close, I think, in 2020. Um, he's got the he's got the parts. He's sneaky long off the tee. Um, and he just has an incredible sort of knack, that Jordan Spieth knack to sort of create a score, even when it's not going well, as we've seen him hit it out of the trees here. He, um, incredible short game, one of the best putters in the world. And, and as I said, when, when, when the lights go on and it's a big tournament, Cam seems to bring the best. So I don't think the sort of well, lack of form or lack of us seeing his form um, really plays too much into Cam. I think, I think Cam comes to something like the Masters and he's going to be a tough guy to beat. He's a very laid-back, almost, uh, not quite an introvert, but he's uh, the polar opposite to the man we're going to talk about next, which is Min <laughs> Woo Lee, the chef himself, uh... hoping to let him cook over there in Augusta National come uh, Friday morning, Australian time, of course, and um, tied fifth last year at the Open. You feel like it's getting to the point where he will break through in a very big way at some point soon. Yeah, absolutely. Talking about someone that loves the big stage and embraces the big stage, it's, it's Min Woo Lee. So, uh, great start to the year. He's made six out of the seven cuts. Uh, one top ten, which was a second. He's driving. All the stats there that look at his game, they're just OK. They're around there. But he's screaming is exceptional. So that means his short game, his chipping and his pitching is getting a lot better. He works closely with Richie Smith, his coach, and I'm sure there's certain types of shots that he he needs at Augusta that they've been working on in the off-season. That's how they do things. They're, they're very thorough with their preparation. Yeah, you know, let's... 2022, I watched it, actually. He's, he's 30 on the front nine. You know, he feels comfortable around a golf course uh, like Augusta. All right, uh, what about Jason Day, another young kid who came through and burst onto the golf scene, no longer a kid quite obviously. He was in the doldrums there for a while with a number of issues, certainly had a back problem, but been playing some good golf uh, in recent times. He was a winner of the Byron Nelson last year. And coming in, you would figure um, he might just turn back the clock, Jeff, to what happened in 2011 when you, uh, J uh, Jason and also Adam Scott, all had a chance but got surpassed by Charles Schwartzel, who made those four birdies in a row. Yeah, we won't talk about Schwartzel, but yeah... <laughs> That was a frustrating day. But just, uh, yeah, Jason, um, he's been playing really well the last sort of two years. He went through a sort of reasonably documented, if you follow golf, his back was a bit rough and he had a whole bunch of kids at one time and I think sort of got a bit jaded with the whole thing, but sort of new, sort of found enthusiasm for the game in the last couple of years. He's, he's changed his swing with Chris Como to sort of ease a bit of pressure on his back and he seems to be hitting the ball really, really well. Um, and we know he can make big putts and he's a great scrambler and he's played well at the Masters before. So, I mean, it would be throwing back the clock a little bit, but he certainly has the pedigree to get up there in the mix. Um, and it's always been great when he's up there in the big ones at the end. 
All right, Gary Cameron Davis is now 29 years mm. of age, second appearance at Augusta National. Um, in 2022, he finished 46 in his only appearance. Uh, fascinating to see how he fares this time around. Yeah, I think so. And, and Kem's career was always just going to be a slow progression, which it has been. You know, I think the President's Cup there a few years ago uh, at Quail Hollow was a big time for definitely for Cam, you know, to, to announce himself to the world. Now he's a winner on the US tour. Um, putting ha hasn't been one of his great parts, but this year it has been. He's uh, played seven events for, for five cuts and, and a lot of solid putting. And we know how good his ball striking. His driving is exceptional. You can be a little bit wider off the tee, which, which may help here, but his iron's got to be, they need to be on song. Uh, Schutz is on the bag, who is an ex-player himself, who who will map, it, map his way around the golf course. And, you know, hopefully Cam gets to play practice rounds with the Jason Days and the Adam Scotts of the world and they can show him around the golf course. Speaking of being shown around the golf course, what about Jasper Stubbs, who might get a practice round with Adam Scott? He spoke to Adam before Christmas about having a couple of looks because having won the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship at Royal Melbourne, Jeff, uh, you were there. Such an impressive performance to under the spotlight and the, the pressure in that playoff as well um, on a Alistair McKenzie design course. Maybe there's a little omen there for Jasper Stubbs with Alistair McKenzie designing along with Bobby Jones, Augusta National. I mean, yeah, we hope so. I mean, Gowie and I were there. We watched it. He played an, an incredible round on Sunday. He looked great in the playoff. Um, Royal Melbourne is not an easy test and that's obviously one of the best fields you can beat in the world as an amateur. So. Um, pretty impressive effort, especially with the pressure of that if you win, you're going to get into the Masters, which I can let you know when I was an amateur, that was a very big bit of pressure to sort of get past. Um, in incredible experience for him. Um, it's, it's a long shot, I would think, for him to get up there in the mix, but I mean, hopefully he can get in there for four rounds. And I think I read the other day his, his goal is to finish was at top 12 to get back next year, um, which is a pretty sensible goal, I think. He, he clearly has all the tools. Um, but first time round, it's a tough place. The nerves, are, the nerves can get to you. But hopefully, you can get off to a decent start. Sort of get into the get into the tournament and play the play play the rounds and um, just see how it goes. It's just such a great thrill to play there for the first time.